Hi guys, it's Max, and this time we're going to talk about some fun weasel facts that I found, and we're going to take it nice and wheezy today. So, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants with this, and uh, I was also sent facts by other people. Uh, I put a post on Blue Sky as well as uh, Telegram and a few other places asking for random weird weasel facts that I may not know. Let's go ahead and hold on to our long springy torsos and war dance on in to fun weasel facts that I may or may not already know about. It's a fact. So we're starting with these, uh, this list of facts on facts.net. Weasels have a slim and elongated body shape. I mean, literally like half the memes on this channel are like just built around this. The fact that weasels are slim and long. Fun fact, it's actually because they have um, an extra couple of vertebrae on their spine and allows them to sneak into tight spaces. In case you didn't know, there are several species of weasels. What, what, what kind of facts list is this? Is it's like saying there are different brands of car. It's like really, uh, wow! I, I would have never thought. Incredible. I'm learning a lot today. Weasels are found in various. What is this? Is just just like a list of us stating the obvious here? It's like I am a human being. Wait, fuck, I'm literally making this video as a furry. That doesn't even fully work. Okay, okay, let's try this again. I am found in various habitats. Wait, I, I don't think that works either. What other random fucking obvious fact are we getting here today? Man, our brains are growing today. Weasels are known for their agility and speed. Okay, there you go. Weasels have a high metabolic rate. Okay, okay, we're, we're, we're getting there. Weasels are solitary animals. Is that factually? I've heard conflicting info with that actually. I see like groups of stoats like rummaging around together and hunting like as a pack, or at least you know walking across a golf course in a pack. There's that video of that uh, Martin running from the uh, like running across a soccer stadium, just causing all kinds of havoc to the game. Like literally for no reason. He wasn't trying to get anywhere. He was just trying to run across the stadium just because. Haha, I'm a weasel. Fuck you. But yeah, I saw that one Martin. He was he was by himself. So. I really like this one. Weasels play an essential role in the ecosystem. Weasels are important. Weasels are capable of remarkable feats of acrobatics. <laughs> yeah, right. My ass. Weasels are mythical creatures in folklore and literature. Weasels. Legendary. I, I think I'm done with this list. This this list is kind of... I think I'm over this one. We're gonna move on to a different one here. Look at the sky. Do nobody have any, does nobody except furries have any real facts about animals and the weird things about them? Let's, let's, let's take a look at what, what my, uh, what the people who said, talked to me on Blue Sky said. The longest time someone kept a ferret in his pants was five hours and 30 minutes. Was this, is this real? Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you fucking kidding me? This is real? I, I have a, I have a, I have a question. Why? This is a this is a professional sport. Ferret legging has existed for centuries, and we talk about how fursuit dance competitions are fucking weird. What the fuck? American sports writer Rick Wiley of ESPN tried ferret legging as part of his quest to find the world's dumbest sport for a book published in 2010. What could have outdone this? What 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 could have outdone this? I'm I'm so confused by the existence of this. What, what, why why does this exist? What I just think of the person who thought of this originally, and it sounds like a meme that went out of control. Somebody made like this really stupid sport as like a <laughs> my ferret is funny when he tries to get in my pants. Let's make that a professional sport. And then like three weeks later, he's like, no, not like that, guys. I wasn't being serious. Cracked has it listed as the fifth most baffling sport in the world. Okay, so let it be known, there is a professional sport involving sticking a weasel in your pants. I, w <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> they have a safety lock in their jaw that keeps their mouths from opening. Is this, is this true? I'm, I'm not I'm not finding anything about this and the only way I'm finding something about this is lockjaw which happens from low blood sugar and uh, if you have a ferret that can't open its mouth it's best to probably take it to the vet please for the sake of the ferret take it to the vet yeah, unfortunately um, yeah and ferret ownership I might eventually do a video on ferret ownership and uh, what I learned as a former ferret owner and hopefully soon to be ferret owner as well 
um, that ferrets are prone to disease and getting like some sort of sugar problem later in life. Um, it's actually extremely rare a ferret dies of natural causes, um, especially um, martial, martial bred ferrets, um, which is unfortunate we have a ferret monopoly, but um, at the very least I can say is that they're all spayed and neutered so we don't have, you know, an ecosystem uh, issue. A ferret's name is Mustela putorius furo or Stinky Weasel Thief. Actually, I think I heard about this one. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. A Putorius. I don't know where the Putorius comes from, but Mustela Furo is their actual name. Um, synonyms Mustela Put... Okay, it's Linnaeus that coined this in 1758. Uh, the ferret comes from the Latin ferritus, meaning little thief. A likely reference to the common ferret penchant for secreting away small items. In Old English, the animal was called a... I don't know how to pronounce that. The word ferret seems to appear in Middle English around the 14th century from Latin with the modern spelling of ferret by the 16th century. The Greek word ictus... I don't know how to pronounce this, I'm sorry if I'm butchering this. Latinized as ictus occurs in a play written by Aristophanes. The and the Arc the Arcarnians in 425 BC. Whether this was a reference to ferrets, polecats, or the similar Egyptian mongoose is uncertain. A male ferret is called a hob, and a fe female ferret is called a jill. Haha, <laughs> I did know that one. A spade female is called a sprite. <laughs> A neutered male is called a gib. Gib me a sprite. <laughs> Delicious tooth decay. And a vasectomized male is known as a hoblet. <laughs> is this like just the shitpost animal? And of course, as most everybody in the furry fandom knows, a group of ferrets is called a business. Or as I like to say, a busy busy boing boing. The least weasel is the smallest obligate carnivore in the world. This actually ties in with another uh, fun fact I was given a little lower uh, on this by another person, and that was that um, mustelids have no concept of relative size when it comes to hunting, which is why a stoat has no problem hunting hares three times their size. And yes, this little fact it does include the least weasel, which is known for being uh, exceptionally small, rarely exceeding the size of a common desk stapler. But um, definitely much da more dangerous and ferocious and bloodthirsty and pointy than a stapler. Fun fact, did you know that Mex is a weasel? <gasps> Actually, yeah. I probably should go ahead and say this. I'm not a possum. <laughs> I love possums, but I'm not a possum. My fursona is actually a weasel. Specifically, I chose, um, I originally thought ermine was like a specific species of weasel, but no. Ermine is the coat description of a white weasel that has molted into its winter coat. Um, weasels that live up in the Arctic obviously are going to keep this coat year round. But in the summer, a lot of these uh, weasels will molt and uh, turn into their summer coat, which is actually really pretty and cute. They look like a little cocoa dusted baby. But yeah, um, I'm actually a long tailed weasel. All right, here we go. Uh, Ziggy Weasel, who's uh, very well adept in like weasel research and stuff. Um, weasels have the strongest bite relative to their size, even stronger than that of a hyena or a bear. Wow. Okay, that's, that's, uh, I, I was talking about how, like, bloodthirsty and evil these creatures are. Like, stay the fuck clear of weasels. Holy shit. If so dangerous, why friend shaped though? Just like raccoons and bears, weasels are plantigrades, opposite to digitigrades like cats and dogs. Oh shit, that means any digitigrade weasel fursuit is gonna be anatomically wrong, but I'm, I'm sorry, if I see a drop crotch plantigrade, it's gonna look so weird. I mean, I'm sure it can be done, but you really probably have to drop the crotch like real low to make a anatomically accurate weasel at that rate. Unlike most obligate carnivores, domestic ferrets and otters can taste sweet flavors, which explains why every time I ate a banana, my fucking ferret would come and want to lick my fingers. By the way, you're not supposed to give banana to ferrets. It can lead to blood sugar issues and they can't really digest fruit or vegetables. Um, it's not one of those things that's like gonna kill them obviously, but I, I just don't do it. It's, it's uh, very unhealthy for them. Ferrers can sleep so profound that they look, as TikTok says, unalived. Okay, this is true. 
It's called a, I don't know if I can say the word on YouTube, dead sleep. Bye. Um, either way, ferrets can go into what's called a dead sleep, which can be quite alarming for new ferret owners because essentially they go limp and then you they don't respond when you try to wake them up. It's actually, I believe it's because their metabolism, they use so much energy so fast that they have to rest like really deep to uh, recover their energy. Black-footed ferrets are the only native species of ferret in North America. Really? They don't have pine martens up in Canada? Oh, there are three that call North America home. Long-tailed weasel, short-tailed weasel, and least weasel. So, no, this is incorrect. And yeah, black-footed ferrets are species of ferret. Oh, I just put weasels because I'm an idiot. The only ferret species native to North America. That's wild. Black-footed ferrets can sleep 16 to 21 hours per day. I mean, most ferrets sleep like quite a lot. That's actually more than the domestic ferret. I think the domestic ferret said 14 to 18 hours a day. BFFs between 16 and 21 hours per, per day, and yes, we do call them BFFs. Black-footed ferrets are BFFs. BFFs live in the prairie dog town, hunting prairie dogs. Well, <laughs> I love the way you worded that. Well, pr uh, prairie dogs get most of their water intake from vegetation, BFFs get their water intake from prairie dogs. <laughs> A weasel's heart beats about 100 BPM at rest reaching 400-ish BPM during activity, which is about 50 BPM faster than me when you don't respond after I've upset you and I'm trying to apologize. Martins have excellent sight. That's why they look directly at you if you encounter one in the wild. And yeah, this ties into the interesting fact here. All mustelids have horizontal lenticular pupils, except for otters and wolverines, similar to that of a goat. So when you see the ferret, like a weasel species type, doing this emote icon face, they actually should be doing this emote icon face, because that's more accurate to their species. And it also directly translates to <coughs> Actually, I had to add this in late. Um, somebody responded to uh, Ziggy and said that otters and badgers are the ones without lenticular pupils. Wolverines do have lenticular pupils. <coughs> So this, I also put a, a message up in the weasel chat that I administrate, and uh, here's um, a few that were sent to me via that as well. They can eat up to 40% of their body weight every day, which to be fair isn't much because they're the smallest carnivores. This is true. Small and ferocious and do not mess with me because I will fucking bite you. Okay, this one's kind of uh, a, a drawback of their own biology. If a Jill is in heat and doesn't mate, her own body chemistry will kill her. This is why it is paramount to have your have ferrets spayed and neutered from a young age so that this doesn't happen. Uh, because you don't want to get an unspayed female ferret and it die just because it goes into heat. So my friend Plastic Fox sent me a fact that said Buckingham Palace used ferrets to lay their entire electrical system to run the wiring. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna fact check that real quick. Uh, real quack. <laughs> we're talking about we're talking about ducks now. <laughs> quack quack. Ferrets in special harnesses were used to run television cables for the outdoor coverage of Prince Charles and Princess Diana's wedding at Buckingham Palace in 1981. So this is not actually untrue uh, that they were used to lay. Uh, some of the electrical wiring, but that's actually fucking amazing. This is actually a very common uh, practical use of ferrets, laying wiring and laying um, out like things that go through tight spaces. Ferrets are crepuscular, which means they are most active at dawn and dusk. Um, from 1860 to the start of World War II, ferrets were widely used in the American West to protect grain stores from rodents. They gained popularity as pets in the 80s and 90s. Domesticated ferrets most likely descend from the European polecat. Yeah, the name polecat makes a lot of sense here, by the way. Oh my god, look at this website. This fucking ferret world with the most goofy ass fucking icon I've ever seen. What the fuck? Help me, I've been in purgatory since the dot com bubble. Of course, you got the, the ermine portrait by Nicholas Hilliard uh, from uh, 1585. And uh, just love the uh, love the dimensions on this fucking look at this fucking thing i love that when you like lift up ferrets they're always like with these doofy ass expressions like haha i have no idea what i'm doing and of course weasels always stay true to their stereotype of masters of destruction and devious world dominating plots my favorite article ever involving a ferret is this 
Weasel shuts down world's most powerful particle collider. A small mammal sabotages the world's most powerful scientific instrument. <laughs> Engineers investigating the mishap found the charred remains of a furry creature near a gnawed through power cable. Oh, the poor baby. He did nothing wrong. He was just chewing your wires. He didn't deserve that. And finally, in February 1971, physicists at the National Accelerator Laboratory in Batavia, Illinois, began testing the biggest machine in the world, a ring-shaped 200 billion electron volt proton synchrotron particle accelerator. The stakes were high. NAL director Bob Wilson had told the Department of Energy that he could get running within five years for $250 million, and they were four years in. They kept running into a perplexing problem. Magnets that were essential to its operation kept failing. The low-tech solution proposed for this high-tech trouble, a ferret named Felicia. So a bunch of sciencey, sciencey, sciencey talk, but basically they just taught the ferret to run through the tube and for some somehow it fixed the magnets and everything was hunky-dory. So ferrets aided in the creation of and aided in the destruction of particle accelerators. Weasels. Legendary. Fandom, I have a question. Have you ever encountered a very unorthodox, uh, unusual, or just straight up cursed fursuit building method? Please leave your responses in the comments section and I might be doing a video on this very soon. Other than that, please feel free to like this video, share, and subscribe. Please, if you enjoyed, feel free to share this across Twitter because I don't have Twitter, so I don't really get that advantage. But um, if you want to be a really, really spectacular person, um, my Patreon link is in the description and you get to see all these videos 24 to 48 hours in advance for just $1 each upload. That's nothing. But I completely understand if you're not able to make that monthly commitment right now. Trust me, I get it. I do have the one-time donation option if you'd like to tip the tip for the work I put into this. Um, that would be in the description as well. That's my Ko-Fi and my PayPal. And other than that, if you're not able to financially contribute right now, that's totally fine. I don't expect it. It's always appreciated, but I don't ever expect to make a significant financial gain from any of these videos. Trust me, just you watching and enjoying is all the validation I need. And with that said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you next time. And as always, take it easy.